Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I've posted in the past. If you have any video that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And this video is a good example of a question from a viewer. And she asked me about uh, how to cook rice. She said she most of the time cook her rice over on top of a stove. And she also has an instant pot also can cook rice, but it's more cumbersome. And recently she saw a friend uh, use a rice cooker, and she really liked that idea. And she wrote to me and asked me what rice cooker would I recommend, and what type of rice cooker would be best in terms of uh, for a family of four. A type of rice cooker that we find on the market right now are frequently known as automatic rice cooker. And this type of rice cooker is very simple and straightforward. Now, most of these rice cooker uh, come with a non-stick uh, cooking pot. And the problem with the non-stick cooking pot is that uh, the non-stick coating will peel off after time of use. Now, in this video, I would like to recommend to you a rice cooker that have a stainless steel cooking pot. Now, a rice cooker is a very common cooking utensil in most uh, Asian family. Because around the world, about probably three billion people that eat rice every day. All rice cooker has an outer part, and it has an inner part, which usually make up of different type of material. The most common type is made of aluminum, and some of them have a coating, a non-stick coating on it. And then the third type are the make up from stainless steel. And this rice cooker recommended by my friend has a stainless steel inner part. And usually this type of rice cooker is more expensive than the aluminum one with the non-stick coating. But this one has a really excellent price. It's only about $23. And this rice cooker has a 10 cups capacity of cooked rice, which means that uh, you can cook 5 cups of rice that are uncooked. Now, a 10 cup capacity is about the right size for uh, most people. So I decided I'm going to order one and give it a try. Now I already have a rice cooker, which is similar, also has a stainless steel in a pot. I prefer rice cooker much better for them to have a stainless steel in a pot as compared to one that with a non-stick coating. In this case, your rice cooker will last as long as the uh, heating portion of the rice cooker is working. Now, if you have a rice cooker with non-stick coating, quite often, as I've shown earlier, the non-stick coating will come off. And in this case, uh, if you do not feel comfortable with this non-stick coating peeling off, then you need to get a new rice cooker. In this particular rice cooker, I'm particularly interested in the stainless steel part. As you can see here, this is an excellent stainless steel part. And I really like the bottom of the part is enhanced uh, with a multi-layer clap which means that it has better heat conduction. Uh, the outer cooking part of the rice cooker is very simple. Uh, in the inside, it has a heating plate, and in the middle, it has a spring loader switch. And this is where the automatic portion comes in uh, to shut off the rice cooker. Now, this rice cooker uh, is said to have a capacity of five cups of uncooked rice. In here, I'm going to cook three cups of rice, and I'm going to add about three cups of water and usually depend on the type of rice that you cook. Uh, the ratio in general is about one cup of water to one cup of rice. I usually wash the rice once or twice uh, before I add the final amount of water that I needed to cook the rice. Now again, the rice cooker is very simple. All you have to do is to set the rice into the outer cooking part. And then the rice cooker has only one switch. It is uh, a switch that uh, and all you have to do is to press it down. As soon as you plug in the rice cooker, it will turn on and it will set warm. Then you push the button down and it will indicate that the rice is being cooked. Now cooking the rice actually takes a relatively short amount of time. I time it and for this rice cooker, it took about maybe 17 to 18 minutes uh, to cook the rice to completion. As you can see here, uh, the result is good very much aligned with other type of rice cooker that I have. Now here is an indication of three cups of uh, uncooked rice, and it uh, yields six cups of cooked rice. But as you see in here, uh, this actually gets the rice cooker pretty full. So I think the capacity, even though it said it can cook 10 cups of rice, I think eight cups of cooked rice is probably all it can do without it getting too full. 
And there's a different version of this rice cooker, which is a six cup cooked rice and three cup uncooked rice. Now, it is a good idea to have a rice cooker that is larger because rice actually has excellent shell life and they microwave really well. And when you're ready to eat them, all you have to do is put it in the microwave oven. Uh, in usually about uh, one minute, the rice is ready. And of course, uh, rice uh, stored in the refrigerator for several days will be excellent for making fried rice. And because of this reason, I always have cooked rice available in my refrigerator. In here, I pack them into a three cup um, container. And for six cup of rice, it just fits perfectly in this three cups of container. Now, a uh, rice has to be uh, stored in the refrigerator. And it is a good idea that you store them as quickly as when the, after the rice is being cooked uh, so that it is still warm. Uh, this will prevent any contamination because if you left the rice out uh, without covering it or without putting it in the refrigerator, uh, you might end up with uh, some contamination, either fungal or microbial. This will greatly reduce the shelf life of your rice. And you can easily tell whether the rice is good uh, by using your nose. A quick sniff, you will know that this rice is good or not. Personally, I find that uh, rice is an excellent uh, source of carbohydrate, and partly because that it is very easy to prepare and they store very well. But I do not eat a lot of rice uh, for uh, numerous reasons, and one of the reasons is health reasons. Now, this rice cooker is excellent for cooking white rice. Now, if you want to cook brown rice, this rice cooker might not do as well. Uh, because brown rice takes a little bit longer time to cook, and it requires a slightly different in terms of the temperature control. And here, when it comes, is that why some rice cookers are more expensive. Now, as I mentioned, there are basically three types of rice cooker: the straightforward rice cooker like this one, and then you have rice cooker almost like a pressure cooker, and then you have rice cooker that are really expensive. Uh, they are programmable for cooking different type of rice. The next question you might have is that how easy it is uh, to clean uh, the stainless steel in a pot. And inevitably, because it's a stainless steel, uh, rice will stick to the bottom of the pot. And the best way to cook it is to soak the pot uh, for about several hours. And in my case, I usually soak it overnight. And now, if you try to clean it right away, you might find it difficult to uh, dislodge some of the rice that might have stuck to the bottom of the rice pot. However, if you soak it overnight, it makes it much easier. And then, in this case, cleaning it only takes literally minutes. Like in here, I don't even have to scrub it. I use a brush, and uh, just gently brushing it, they come off readily. Now, this is the beauty uh, of a stainless steel pot. Of course, uh, if you have a non-stick uh, cooked surface, it might be e even easier. You can clean it almost right away. But then in this case, you don't have to worry about uh, the uh, non-stick coating to peel off from the surface. So from this standpoint, uh, this rice cooker is truly a bargain. Uh, for $23, you've got a very nice rice cooker with a capacity uh, probably suitable for most families. And you can cook enough for you to store some away uh, to use the next day or to make fried rice. But more importantly is that you will get a very nice stainless steel pot. And this stainless steel pot will last as long as the cooking elements of the rice cooker still working, which most of the time they also last for a long time. And this may be the only rice cooker that you will ever have to purchase. Okay, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system, which make your home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.